Well, first of all, I want to thank everyone for coming. Uh, you know, the our award ceremony at dinner is just kind of a great time for people to get together and, you know, celebrate people who support civil liberties and thank you all for coming. And I'm lucky uh, to have the great honor to be the one who gets to introduce this year's Jack Green Award winner. As you look at the program, at the names of people who received this award since it was established by this chapter in 1989, you see some of the history of Sonoma County and the people who made changes for the better and made Sonoma County what it is now. This is especially true of the woman who we're honoring today, May T. You know, she was seized as a high school student and imprisoned for the crime of being a Japanese American during World War II and was forced to spend years with an internment camp. And, but she took that experience and used it in her life to write about the Japanese American experience in America through the generations that have come to this country and to speak out against racism, nuclear weapons, and human rights. Much of her life and many of her accomplishments are summarized in your dinner program in a, in a short video you're going to see in a few moments. What the video and the bio and the program uh, fails to tell you is that when you talk to me, you immediately notice the softness and kindness in your voice that puts you at ease. You're aware that while this is a woman who has traveled the globe of for human equality and the fight for the corrosiveness of racism and hate. She is not a person whose ego is large, yet she is a person of action. When Sonoma, Santa Rosa was rocked with racist graffiti attack on a Chinese restaurant, she organized a coalition that put on a hate crime forum and led a successful campaign to have the Board of Supervisors create a human rights commission. Before I go, any further, I want to watch, have you watch a short video and then we'll present your word. <laughs> Japan 
trying to get away from getting drafted in Japan and uh, left his family in Japan, his mother, father, and sister. By chance, we were sent to the same, uh, uh, what they call assembly centers, then I call it holding center, Santa Anita. So, shy, like a very proper man, asked my mother if he could marry me, and uh, we were married in camp. We came back to uh, Los Angeles, which was our home before the war. Then shortly afterwards, Shai came back, and shortly after that, he got a job uh, offer from his brother-in-law who was up here in Richmond. So we just packed everything up and came here. Well, once I got here, I did not go back. So we've been here.
it's really nice to get old. <laughs> you get all of these accolades that you have not uh, expected and you just feel like you should keep going on. <laughs> but what a pleasure it is to uh, see all of you and greet you all. And thank you for being here. I am so honored to be part of this program. Um, and I know that we'll all benefit greatly from hearing from um, Trevor Pym, who's here, okay, uh, about those terrifying drones. Uh, so I'm not going to bore you with the details of, of my life. Uh, Steve Fabian has done such a remarkable job of um, encapsulating my bio, both on the flyer and here and everywhere. So, thank you, Steve. Um, I want really to first thank the Sonoma County ACLU for uh, doing this event. And um, Steve in particular, who seemed to be putting all the pieces together. Uh, he, as you might most of you know, and, and uh, um, the rest of you can hear, that he is the Northern California Coordinator for the ACLU and a former longtime president, chair, chair off and on of this organization. And uh, I know for a fact that he's been uh, rated one of Sonoma County's best criminal defense uh, lawyers. I have supported the JA, the ACLU, since I can remember. <laughs> and I even supported this button a long time ago. You remember this button? It says card-carrying member of ACLU. I mean, that was a long time ago. You know? I mean, where are these buttons in the defenses of uh, those order of uh, forces that wanted to link the ACLU with uh, the dreaded Communist Party and all of those other fearful people out there? Uh, and it really was not. Uh, politically correct to be linked with the ACLU, so we wore these buttons. Um, the ACLU is said to be uh, the oldest, boldest of uh, civil rights organizations in the nation. Means the whole uh, goals are promoting the freedom of expression, due process and equality under the law. And we can all be thankful that they still exist, bold and strong. We need them. Um, I like to think that the Japanese American Citizens League uh, is the oldest, uh, maybe not the boldest, but <laughs> the oldest Asian American civil rights organization. close to that of uh, ACLU. I think, uh, um, I think that, that the Sonoma County chapter is very, very strong and uh, doing their work. And a thank you in particular to Chair Michael Bryant and Carol uh, Kawase, Meg Mizutani here with her son. Um, Margaret, not Margaret, um, Marie, Marie there, <laughs> Sugiyama, uh, Jason Higashi, and Lucy Kishaba, who used to be here in this county. Um, did I mention Koto Miyu? Koto, uh, who is uh, Mizutani, who is there he is. He's going to be one of the rising stars of this show. And I'm going to be the Henry Kaku. Did I miss somebody? No. Okay. The first public award that I ever received 
was from the JSL when I was really young and I didn't know what uh, was happening. Well, I was working against Title II of the Internal Security Act of 1950, which provided for the detention of such persons who were thought to be probable candidates for espionage and sabotage. Anybody who, who was thought to be that could be incarcerated in, um, under the terms. The, the JCL and Japanese Americans had uh, the concentration camp in, uh, experience fresh in their mind. And so they worked far against defeating um, that act. Uh, what I learned from that experience is that you can car tar uh, start from uh, new, but people will gather around. And you can always find a group that will be helpful. And I also wanted to thank the members of the uh, Peace and Justice Center of Sonoma County. Where are you? Up there. We are work diligently to promote peace and justice and to their committee, the Hiroshima Nagasaki Remembrance Committee, for bringing the memory of the horror of the bombings to the public every year. And uh, Larry, are you there? Yes, okay. <laughs> you, are, you are always in the forefront of this uh, effort. And especially a uh, special thanks to our friend Lena Hoshino. Woo! <laughs> sitting right there. She is a amazing uh, documentary filmmaker who made this film, made the film that you just saw, and uh, who has made many films which have been shown around Sonoma County and um, on KRCD. And if you want to, if, if you want to see their uh, titles, uh, you could go to her website, right? Lena Moschino, is that right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, lastly, I want to uh, acknowledge the members of my family, my darling daughter Nikki, and her husband right there. who are not here, and my husband, who is not here, uh, uh, because they could not be, and also uh, Clay Takaya, who is my brother's son, and my dear nephew, okay, and spouse, and his spouse, Nancy Lindoche. Thank you. Oh, so the love and care which has sustained me. And so I just uh, end this thing by thanking you all and thank you for making the world a better place to be. So first I want to present the actual Jack Green Civil Liberties Award. we have right here for you. And then I want to invite up uh, Art Romo from the Sonoma County Human Rights Commission. Here we come. Steve, and thank you to the board of the ACLU for including us in this uh, ceremony. In the past few years, with Judy Rice as chair, the commission has had a resurgence of activity, and that's why we're excited about the opportunity to express our appreciation to you, May, for uh, setting up the platform that supports our activities. And I'd like to give you just a taste of some of the stuff that we're currently doing. The basic mission of the Commission is to promote an appreciation for the cultural diversity of the county. And this includes educational activities, policy advocacy, collaborating with other organizations working on human rights, and responding to specific incidents. So far, we've offered two counterpoints public forums on the economy and on immigration. 
and we're planning another forum on human trafficking for the fall. We've also been following issues related to the rights of the undocumented workforce and their families. We passed a resolution supporting the County of Refuge concept, which unfortunately the uh, Board of Supervisors rejected. And we also passed a resolution endorsing the first version of the uh, Trust Act, and I'm sure we'll get on board with this reincarnation that's currently in the legislature. We've had presentations and discussions at our regular meetings on issues brought to us by members of the public. There was one on human rights abuses in, in Palestine. More recently, we looked into the hate crime in the town of Sonoma, and that led to an apology and further action by the Sheriff's Department. We currently uh, have task forces following issues of immigrants and economic rights. We have committees working on the Human Trafficking Forum and on a project with the Sonoma County Museum to document the history of human rights in the county. I'm not sure we'll be in touch with you and the ACLU as that project unfolds. And we're especially proud of uh, the recent creation of a junior commission to involve high school students in supporting human rights. And it looks like the first group of commission, junior commissioners is a very enthusiastic and, and, and energetic group. It was in the context of all of this activity that the commission unanimously and enthusiastically agreed to present a resolution of appreciation, and this is what the resolution says. Resolution of appreciation for May T. Nakano, whereas May T. Nakano was the driving force behind the in, uh, creation of the Sonoma County Commission on Human Rights and served as its first chair, and whereas May T. Nakano, a survivor of the internment of the Japanese community in California and Colorado, went on to an illustrious career as an educator and writer, and Whereas May T. Takano has worked for decades to promote the inclusion and appreciation of Japanese culture in the Bay Area, and whereas May T. Nakano has been a tireless leader in the struggle for the human and civil rights of all minority groups, now therefore be it resolved that the Sonoma County Commission on Human Rights expresses its deep appreciation for her role in establishing the commission and the commission is pleased to join with the American Civil Liberties Union of Sonoma County and celebrating their many contributions to human rights in the Bay Area. So. Special congressional recognition presented to you for outstanding service to the community, signed by our member of Congress, Mike Thompson. Right. And another certificate of special congressional recognition signed by our representative, Jared Huffman. Right. Now we have the federal government. We have. Certificate of recognition from the California State Legislature. I have two of them, which have been signed by Noreen Evans, Mark Levine, and Wesley Chesbro. And that's it. <laughs>